Our priorities have changed. Our priorities are shifted. We need to focus on the real issues, not the small stuff. Hi, and welcome to Lifestyle with Dr. Taha. We are going to touch base a very important factor that is very much involved in our lives, in our healthy lifestyle, that is addiction. Addiction in our teenagers. One in three families in United States, they are involved in some sort of addiction problems, addiction issues are going on. While we are doing this program, we never know that a very posh area where all educated doctors and engineers are living, their teenagers could might be involved in kind of any drugs. So we will talk about drugs, we will talk about alcohol, their pr prevention, their early detection, intervention, and the treatment and recovery plans. Today we are going to discuss about prevention, early intervention, treatment plans, and recovery plans. Uh, the best way is to identify them at an early age while their brain is still in the process of uh, uh, functioning. Being a mother of a teenager, I would say, I would must say that this is the most important thing we need to prioritize in our life. At this time, we need to focus on prevention. The studies have shown that prevention programs are cost-effective proposition. According to Washington Post, the face of addiction is also changing. It has already shifted from adults to teenagers. Addiction is a pediatric disease. 10% of adolescents inside United States are somehow addicted to any kind of alcohol or drug or prescription medication. When we talk about prevention, viewers, our teenagers doesn't know what's going on and our parents doesn't know how to educate their kids about drugs and how to get them aware about drugs and its harmful effects. Viewers, a teenager or a child needs logic, needs information and they like to do their own decisions and they say that trust us we will make our own decision and, and that would be right and you, ne you need to trust us we need information we need logic at this time we need to prevent we need to focus on the prevention programs because the studies have shown that prevention programs are cost effective proposition. When we talk about prevention, the most important thing is to remember screening. The questionnaire we are talking about, we call it C-R-A-F-F-T. It is composed of six questions or seven questions like, have you ever ridden a car which was driven by an alcoholic, you, your parent, or anyone else? In a screening, our pediatricians can play a vital role. How? On annual visits of our teenagers, of our kids, to pediatrician, just five minutes of counseling and five minutes of screening about few questions or the few questionnaire can be filled out there at the doctor's office could help prevent addiction. These kind of questions could give you an idea about screening. We'll move forward at this point, viewers, and we'll talk about a little bit about brief intervention. Brief, in brief intervention is a kind of like an interviewing where the counselor, like our pediatrician, could ask few questions. When we talk about early intervention, 99% of the sufferers and 99% of the people, when they enter into any rehabilitation program, when we ask one question, when, how did you start this addiction, how this uh, alcohol or any kind of drug or any kind of prescription medication. When they started this, the answer most of the time is when they were in their teens. Most of the time when we ask question about when did you start and what was the causative reason, they always say that kind of a victimization, kind of sexual abuse, physical abuse, parental incarceration, kind of rape, 
or suicide or homicide, some sort of mental health disorder is also the root cause of addiction. Brief intervention is a technique where a counselor like a pediatrician could ask few questions with our teen or to a kid and the kid doesn't want the answer to be in a form of doing something. They want logic, they want science and they want stories. Pediatrician could play a very vital role. How? In an office one-on-one -on -one setting where a pediatrician could sit with a child and the child who knows that the doctor is, is an adult and who is not his parent, he could be more relaxed in that environment. So that office setting, five minutes of counseling, which is motivational kind of interviewing, where a positive reinforcement a pediatrician could do with a child in a form that he could say, like, uh, what causes uh, you, wh what is the reason why you are uh, addicted to alcohol or to any drug? And the, when the child or the teenager answers, like, uh, because it relaxes me, and, uh, in, and the answer of the pediatrician or a counselor could be, like, uh, can I offer you some other ways? Uh, the other ways that could relax you, kind of like a, a sports or any other thing that could relax you or like this is kind of a positive reinforcement or kind of a motivational interviewing where a counselor could motivate a child to do something healthier. The pediatrician could do wonders. Five minutes of interviewing, which is in the form of Positive reinforcement, we were talking about prevention strategies. Prevention is always cost-effective proposition. Referral to treatment, we, we will talk about two types. There is no need for extensive outpatient treatment and there is no need for intensive inpatient treatment for, for our teenagers. Only five minutes of counseling in the form of a kind of an annual visit with pediatrician will do wonders. Viewer's child needs a logic. They need more information regarding the harmful effects and what is going on. And if they are alcoholic or if they are addicted to any prescription medication. Like viewers, I always say like uh, addiction is changing its faces. Uh, an old story is like a construction worker who is um, having a slip disc or having a back problem is on any kind of painkillers which is narcotics but because like uh, th the same thing could happen to a teenager as well who is on painkillers due to some reason or kind of a high school sports injury uh, for example for instance so what they do they could be addicted to that prescription medication they could be addicted to that painkiller this is also very important and we need to address this problem as well while the this can be done easily uh, during office visit annual office visit with your pedi pediatrician. We are talking about our teenagers, the youth of our future, who are future doctors, engineers, and the leaders of our society. We need to help them. We need to find ways how to support them. There should not be any intimidating or kind of a guilt or kind of uh, any lecturing to them or any to cope up with their addiction problems. Uh, there shouldn't be any kind of uh, such thing. Viewers, the treatment plans we have talked about, rehabilitation plans are also there to help your child. And as I said in my earlier uh, opening statements, that prevention is very cost effective proposition. So always talk about prevention and preventive programs. Five minutes of counseling with your pediatrician along with a questionnaire could help us in finding out what's going on. And if you find your child engaged in any kind of addiction, do not blame your child. Always encourage them to seek help, to seek medical and professional help and find a professional rehab center for them. Involve in that rehab center yourself is also a very important part. That will help your child to stay away from alcohol or any kind of drug if they are addicted to any kind of drug. Where's the most important 
thing which I need to tell you at this point is do not blame your child. If you find anything, any kind of addiction in terms of alcohol, drugs, marijuana, heroin, any kind of addiction, if you find it out, and should, you should not blame your child. Encourage them to seek help. The simplest way to reduce the prevalence of alcohol addiction in the United States is just by asking our kid to postpone of having their first alcoholic drink. This is all about healthy lifestyle viewers. So in case of any emergency, call 911. If you have any questions or queries regarding our topic today, please call our studio or email us. All right, viewers, try to engage your teenagers in a healthy lifestyle, kind of like uh, sports and uh, relaxation therapies, and always uh, encourage them to seek help, to seek help from a doctor, from a pediatrician, and you can always engage them in uh, something which they like to do. This is all about you. This is all about your life. Your life is beautiful. You are beautiful. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Lifestyle with Dr. Taha.